hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is kb5064081 because of this error code that is your device is missing important security update now the first step is to when you receive the error if you see the download option or retry option you can try to retry or download and then check if that does not work start app readiness service now for this type in services in windows search box and then go to app readiness over here make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find background intelligent transfer service set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now you can check still not working pause and restart the update so you can go to windows update over here you can see pause click on pause and once paused now click on resume updates and then you can check still not working the next step is to run these two commands so type in cmd in windows search box cmd and then make a right click on command prompt app and then make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here and then hit the enter key now this will run a scan let the scan complete once the scan is 100 percent complete you can run the second command so paste it on the same window the second command and then hit the enter key once the second scan is 100 percent complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here write down the name of the update that is kb5064081 and then click on search now over here uh, you have to select your version so type in win ver winver in windows search box and then click on winver now in my case it's version 24h2 and then you can check what kind of system you have you can go to system and then go to about and then for me it's 64 bit now for this for me it's windows 11 version 24h2 x64 based system now if you have windows 11 version 25h2 x64 then this is the right one for you so you have to click on download and then over here you will see kb5064081 click on it and then let the download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file and then run this file and you can install this update manually and then you can check still not working the next step is to use option fix problems using windows update now for this open windows settings go to windows update advanced option click on recovery over here and here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and on this website scroll down here you can see media creation tool so click on download now and once the download is complete uh, you can run this exe file when you run this exe file you will see this screen click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once it is done click on finish once you hit finish let this close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then run the setup file make a double click click on yes to allow and then click on next accept and by here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel